And why am I not getting pregnant? requires you to really look at the things that either are being glossed over, not being addressed or ignored. That is a key distinction that a lot of my patients miss when they first come to me because they keep being told everything is normal, just keep trying. Oh, you know, all your results are great. You know, there's nothing really wrong. It's just a matter of time or whatever it is. Or that next IVF cycle is going to be the one. Or, you know, we should have used this particular drug protocol and we didn't. And they continue around that path, going around in circles. And for some, unfortunately, running out of time because the key critical factors that are a part of the solution are also a part of the problem. And when consistently those things get dismissed or not really investigated to the level and the degree that they need to, we leave many of the chances of successful treatment working and conception occurring and keeping a healthy pregnancy to term and delivering a healthy baby to chance right so one of the this question you know why am i not getting pregnant is one of the most commonly asked questions i get and i always talk about fertility in terms of one fertility is a team sport no matter how you go about it and how you approach it and what you think the problem might be you know you may be very clearly told no it's an egg quality problem or no it's a sperm problem it's never quite so easy or quite so simple. For the majority of cases, it's always going to be a combination of various factors. You know, I often talk about the fact that we've got the female factor, the male factor, and the embryonic factor. We can't do much about the embryonic factor post-script, right? So we can do lots about it when we are addressing preconception, the female factor, the male factor, and we do everything we can to improve the environment for that embryonic development. But it's not often when it hasn't happened in a really straightforward way, it's really not a case of just keep trying and everything is okay, particularly for the kinds of patients that I treat who typically have either been trying to get pregnant for a long time or have experienced many miscarriages or previously failed treatment. So what I want you to think about is what is it that you've been told that is normal, that well, it's a little bit on, you know, on, on the balance. It's not quite as good as it could be, whatever it is, um, but it's not terrible and we can bypass this with some XYZ treatment. Therein lies some clues as to areas that perhaps need to be addressed. And so what I always like to do is start with a fertility assessment, understanding what is it that we're dealing with? You know, what is the lay of the land, so to speak? And then from there, when we start to see what the gaps are, what the places of opportunity are, then we can start making some steps towards the outcome that you want to create, which is of course a healthy baby. I always, always will maintain, if you are not holding the healthy baby of your dreams in your arms right now, it's because whatever it is that you're trying to address or whatever it is that you think the problem is, isn't actually either the problem or hasn't been addressed adequately so that you get the solution that you want. So the key is to look at things differently, shift the paradigm, and one of the best ways to do that is to really look at things from, you know, sometimes it's almost like, you know, you need to clear the slate and go, right, what do we know? And take stock of all of those pieces. You know, that's what a fertility assessment in our clinic looks like, and it is complementary. So if you do want to go down that path, there's a link underneath this video, go ahead, sign up for a session, and I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you based on your specific situation and what it is that needs to happen. But don't accept the everything is normal, just keep trying, because that is a rhetoric that is not going to support you. Hope that helps, and until next time, bye for now.